Hello all, this is Karthik Dale from Data Skills. This time we come up with a new playlist called Excel Problems Expert Solutions. Reason for this playlist is many times students ask us, could you please provide some real time project so that we'll get more experience and we will be comfortable while we are working with Excel. Yes, you are absolutely right. And we heard you. As part of this program, every Monday, we'll be coming with a new Excel problems and we'll be showing you how to solve the problem. So we hope with this program, you'll be learning many Excel tips uh, and you will be implementing these tips in your real-time projects, real-time reports and save a lot of time. Let's get started. Okay. Let me explain you the requirement. So here we have the raw data in this master data sheet, all the raw data we have. In column A, we have the name, like this is a company name, this is a location name. And uh, at this location, these all are the transactions, like uh, what is the brand name, what is the code, uh, code number, and some blanks are there, like these blanks are nothing but these are, uh, these all blanks are belongs to this one and so on. Like if I scroll down, there is another branch related transactions and there is another branch and so on. There are multiple branches so of the same company. So this data needs to be transformed and it should look like this. You see the size column and quantity? The size and quantity actually like if you see the sizes in the horizontal and quantity also in horizontal, but it should be in the vertical like this. So yeah. there are so many blanks also we have, like we need to clean this data, we need to get the output something like this. So every every week they'll get a uh, this data. Let's say every week they want to prepare this report. So this data, will they will get it from the some ERP tool. So we need to transform every week like this. So we don't want to do manual work. Manual work will take hours and hours. Let me show you how they do manually. Let me insert a new sheet. Here you go to master data. These are the headers. Take a copy of it, paste it here. And like uh, I'll go here. This is the data. Copy it, paste this place. Like we want the size should be vertical and also quantity. I'll write the quantity column. Sizes are here. This is a total column. I don't want total. I'll copy up to here. Copy and in the size column, if you paste it, it will paste horizontally. Now I want something vertically. Right click, paste special, uh, like paste transpose. Click OK. So it is transposed here. And come back here and copy this data, which are quantity of different different sizes come back here and in the quantity pay special values transpose click ok so it is pasted but all these are uh, belongs to this records drag it down after doing this oh you need to do it for the other record like uh, something like this they'll fill it down then they'll take a copy of this paste it here and copy all the different sizes and quantity of it. So much manual work. We don't want to do this one. No. Like we don't want to do this. Like let me delete this entire sheet. Right click and delete this entire sheet. Delete it. So this is the raw data we have and this is the output we are looking for. So if you want to do this from scratch, how to do it, let me show you now. This can be done within few minutes and that too dynamic like a going forward anytime you got this kind of data again and again just refresh will be done you need not to spend hours and hours to create it so let's see this now keep your cursor anywhere in this range let's say in the a1 go to data ribbon in the data ribbon we have something called get and transform data get and transform data is nothing but power query using this get and transform that power query you can get a data from the website text files are like from sheet. There are many other places you can get a data. So there are so many places, even from the databases as well. So this time the data is sitting in the sheet. So click on from sheet. As I'm using the latest version of Excel, it is showing the name called from sheet, 
but uh, for some of you, uh, you'll see the name like table or range. So you can take that option, not a problem. So I'll click on this from sheet, nothing but we are taking a data from the sheet. It will open a new window. The new window name is Power Query Editor. In this Power Query Editor, you have all this data, like uh, what are the data you see it in Excel? Same thing it is showing, name, brand name, code number, color, and so on. This, um, these are different sizes and all. So fine. This data needs to be fill it down. This also needs to be fill it down. And this code also needs to fill it down. This gap is nothing but this place. This place, this above, above code number needs to be filled. Whereas this four blanks, this above code number needs to be filled. So what I do, I'll select these three columns. Right click. Once you right click, there are many options are there. So in that, I'll go with the fill option, fill down. Once I click on fill down, it is filled. Uh, appropriately, all that brands, all this uh, Hyderabad location. It is not that entire thing is filled with the Hyderabad. No, we have like it is located in Bangalore and other places also. It is showing correctly. Whatever the steps you do, everything will be recorded. If you are aware about the VBA macros in Excel, uh, that recording macro similar to it. So first two steps are uh, by default. It will take it. Like we are getting the data from this sheet. That's what it means. And here is a fill it down just now we're done. So before fill it down, the data was look like this. And after filling down, the data is like this. That's great. Fine. In the size column, you don't have any data. It is showing complete null. So I'll select this column, right click and remove it. And if I go right side, uh, I uh, like if I go right side, like here also total column is there. This total column also, I don't need it. Uh, once we have the master data proper master data, I can do that uh, total subtotals anything. So I don't need this totals. Right click and remove. As we remove the columns, that's what it's saying. Remove columns. Great. So now here we have the name column. Like actually, this name column actually this is the company name. This is the location name. Uh, it is located in a different location, Bangalore, Columbia, Delhi, and so on. So we need to separate that company name and we need to separate that uh, like location name. So we Excel users, what we do like texture to columns in, in Power Query also, you have the texture to columns more advanced than the Excel one. Right click, split columns. There are so many options. In Excel, you will be having only two options, by delimiter and fixed width. But here there are seven different options. Within that, there are many other options. So I'll go with the by delimiter. In that by delimiter, like a, I'll give, it, will, it is asking actually split column by delimiter. What is your delimiter? It is asking, but it is already uh, uh, assuming that space is a delimiter. Uh, so if you want, you can give the custom and give that delimiter is space, iPhone space. That's what I said and split it each occurrence of the delimiter. Click OK. It is split all that company name in one column and location in another column. But name one, name dot one, name dot two, it's showing. I can double click and say company name. And here it is. Location name. So this is how you can do the all the transformation. Oh. But here you see um, this size, like 32B, 32C, and so on. These are different sizes of the product. And these are the quantity of it. This size is a one category. It should be in one column. It should not be in the horizontal columns like this. It should be in the one column. And quantity also, it should be in another column. So all that colors are in one column. Code is in another column. So this is the tabular format, but the size and quantity is not in the tabular format. If you want to make it in the tabular format, what you do is select that uh, proper columns one. So from here to here, uh, these columns I'm not selecting. You just right click. There is an option called unpivot other columns. Once you click on unpivot other columns, that columns which were showing in horizontally that uh, size 32B, 32C and so on, which are showing in vertically now and that respective quantity here. Earlier, remember like uh, if I go back, 
uh, earlier it was like this 32 base uh, sizes uh, quantity is 54 32 c's it is a 41 and so on once i come back here it is showing this attribute that 32 b and this is a size 32 c the quantity is 41 and so on if you don't like this name attribute and value this is the default one it will use when you use unpivot columns you can double click you can change that name i can call it as a um, yeah size and i can rename this as a quantity enter done so go to home ribbon in the power query editor and click on this close and load hey actually there are two options click on the drop down there is a close and load there is a close and load too close and load means this transformed data you want to load it into new sheet but if you click on the close and load to the second option i clicked it you'll be having the more options import data into table in the new worksheet is that what you want or do you want to import in the existing worksheet or you want to create pivot table or chat or create connections all this you have the different options but i want to import as a table in the new worksheet so and also click ok here so that it is going to import the transformed data power query is all about the etl tool extracting transforming and loading we extracted the data uh, from this master data and transform done in the power query and loaded back the data into this excel here this is a table one the new sheet inserted the required format it is giving here now you see this so if i need to do it manually it will take long time formulas also very tough to write but whereas here using the power query really easy so i hope you learn something new with this and how we solve uh, one of our client requirement i shown you here in this today's uh, session that Excel problems and expert solution for speech.